Happiness is something we're all still searching for till this day. Sometimes we don't know what really makes us happy. It's like a lesson in school, you know, that we're always stuck on. You know, we don't know the answer yet. But this year and kind of in 2023, I felt like I finally have achieved that status, achieved, you know, finding that happiness. And it's been helping me grow every single day now. Let's talk about what I went through growing up. So growing up, I was the fat kid. He never had a sense of happiness. He didn't even know what made him happy. The only things that really made him happy were junk food, video games, porn, you know, staying up all night, you know, drinking Cokes, eating Domino's pizza, Pizza Hut, whatever the heck he binged and craved on, man. He ate a lot. And his source of happiness came from more of materialistic things because he felt like he could never get the love in real life. He was always bullied in school and was always alone growing up. He didn't have many friends or people to go and talk to about his feelings. So he always kept, you know, he always kept his inner negativity and his inner problems inside of here, inside of his heart. He could never release it out. He just let the mental battles build on and build on and build on. Sometimes, I ain't gonna lie, I still have those mental battles with myself. When something goes wrong, I overthink a bit. You know, when the gym progress isn't adding up, I get mad at myself. But I look back and realize, you know, how far I've really come. Fear and negativity comes from past emotions and past experiences. It comes from the uncertainty where you don't know what's gonna happen. Or you're too scared of conflict. You know, I lived with all these experiences. And that broken kid, he just implanted it into his head. He saw it in the most negative way possible. But never could turn it into a positive. And then he goes into every experience and everything thinking the same thing is going to happen. He's just going to end up being rejected. He's just going to end up being alone again. It's going to be awkward. He's going to say something weird. People are going to be like, you're weird, man. Why'd you say that? What's wrong with you? You know, he tried and tried and tried again to fit in. He's failed many times to make new friends because the people then would just use him and manipulate him. He could never find his group until later on he did. But that comes from trying and trying and trying again. You can't hold these experiences and think they're all the same. No. Oh. You gotta go in with a different mindset. It's like you give your brain a mental reset every time you go into something new. And that's what leads to happiness. Life is supposed to be hard. Life is supposed to be challenging. I know it's challenging to find that inner happiness. But what helped me find the inner happiness was trying these new things. Was starting to go to the gym. Was learning about bodybuilding. Was helping inspire others on social media. And reaching out to those who, you know, who needed that extra help. And I know these things can lead to failure, but I feel attached to it because I want this. I want my goals set around those things. I love the gym. I love bodybuilding. I love motivating others and, you know, self-improvement. It's my life. It just gives me so much purpose and fulfillment when like someone, you know, DMs me their problems, you know, and they say, God, man, you've changed my life. And that's where I want to be, bro. That's what fulfills me. The shadows that you have in your mind, those people that all doubted you or hated you or caused conflict with you, and that past version of yourself, they're all shadows. They're all dark figures looking down at you, doubting you constantly. But you got to think of them as flower petals. The wind blows them off the tree and they fly away. And that's how I imagine it in my mind every time. You know, you have a cherry blossom tree and the wind just takes them away. It takes all the little cherry blossom leaves away, the little pink petals. I don't know if they're leaves or petals, but they all just fly away. They go flying away. And that's what leads me to happiness. It's like a way, it's like a visualization technique I use. All right, because 
all those people from the past and those past experience I had of the bullying of the trauma, it all just goes away when I just breathe through my nose and be present and just imagine them flying away. And I did this like I did this again and again and again. It just it helped me so much. Like like after I realized that it was all gone and I never overthinked or worried again about the way these people perceived me. That's what led me to true happiness, right? These people are just figments of your life. Yes, ironically, they're blown away. But remember, each leaf, each petal is a lesson, bro. They're lessons and they created your character for who you are today. It's letting go of what I can't change and then starting with the now or the future. What can I change in the now? What can I change in the future? I know I can't go back and change the way these people think of me or the way they bully me and I want to revenge. No, it doesn't lead to happiness. That leads to more pain. And I just feel so much happier now that I have more control over the now and the future instead of being so worried about the past and all the things I did wrong. They were all just lessons, bro. It's all just lessons. Keep going. Just keep going, bro. The wind will take you somewhere. And the wind, it'll take those bad leaves away. And you'll become someone new. I want you to wake up in the morning. And just breathe, bro. Just be present. And realize, I know I can be somewhere better in life.